Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're very welcome. My name is Jim Livingstone. Um, I, uh, I was until recently the Director of Safety, Quality and Standards of the Department of Health in Northern Ireland, but I'm now retired, a free agent, and government spends every day praying that I won't spill the beans and say the wrong thing. But I hope uh, that today you'll find a fascinating, I think, session. We've got three excellent speakers, truly international, uh, on uh, on, uh, on designing. Okay. And I think the important thing here is that I think it, I would take the view that design is about behavior, it's not a department. It's actually the people being involved in the organization and being engaged and it's from that sort of approach to design that we get the high quality. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our, our three speakers and K Kazui Nakajima will, be the, uh, will, will speak first from Huzaka in Japan, Nino Bushkra Kitsa from Georgia, and uh, Justin Ringer from uh, Montreal in Canada. Unfortunately, Cheryl Ann Simino can't be with us today. She has taken ill, uh, and we send her our very best wishes. So if I could invite uh, Kazui Nakajima, please, uh, to begin the presentation. Thank you. I should have said, please, you know, comments and questions through Twitter uh, it would be very much welcome, please. Thank you. Yes, okay. Thank you very much for Dr. Livingstone. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to speak about a hospital-wide patient engagement program to improve, patient, patient, uh, improve safety, especially focusing on implementation processes, tools, and culture. International pioneering efforts for patient engagement have been undertaken in many countries. But in Japan, few patient engagement have been introduced yet. Major barriers include Japanese culture valuing on silence, the lack of patient awareness, and the lack of specific tools and strategies for clinicians. Responding to this situation, our hospital Osaka University Hospital developed and implemented a hospital-wide patient engagement program to improve patient safety. The program started on July 1, 2010, and it's still running now. The target of the program is adult and pediatric inpatients or their family members. So through my experience, we found seven keys, these seven keys very important for successful implementation of the hospital-wide program. So I will go through each of these from now. The first key is um, core team and the leadership. Our department, clinical quality management, took leadership to initiate the program and keep the program running as a core team. The second key is culture. So we found a way to engage patient which is deeply rooted in Japanese culture. It is called Iroha Uta. Iroha means different phonetic syllables like ABC. Uta means a poem. So Iroha Uta is like ABC poems. Iroha Uta often comes with an illustration. I think these are some examples of English Iroha Uta. <laughs> the strength of this kind of expression is that we can convey a message very effectively in a very short phrase. The third key is specific tools. We identified seven tips for patient safety, such as patient identification, fall prevention, prevention of personal property loss, and asking questions of clinicians, seeking advice from others, understanding of medication, self-management of illness and care. And then we then created Ilohauta messages and illustrations for the seven tips. To distribute these program to patients, we developed a folder to put the all Ilohauta poems and the illustrations all together. Inside the folder, there is a leaflet explaining why these tips are very important for patients. We now have three language versions of Iroha Uta, Japanese, English, 
and the Chinese. The fourth key is involvement of key hospital persons. This is the program flow. Prior to admission, an outpatient nurse gives the leaflet to a patient who is scheduled to be hospitalized. On the admission day, an hospital administrator gives the folder and the leaflet again to a patient. On the same day, an inpatient nurse explains the tips um, using these materials to his or her patient at bedside. The point is, to make this program hospital-wide, we need to involve key hospital persons working in the front line, such as nurses and administrators, plus a permission from the whole hospital board members, as well as um, the collaboration with the Department of Nurse are very important. The fifth key is education for hospital workers. So we developed a standard operating procedure for nurses on how to explain the tips to patients. Also, we made a how to explain footage on the hospital internet. We also displayed many posters throughout the hospital. All hospital workers have been wearing Eurohauter badges to demonstrate their support for increased communication with patients. The sixth key is a program evaluation. Our Eurohauta program reached about 22,000 inpatients in the past 32 months. Many of the patients responded that the program reassured the patient and facilitated their communication with clinicians and encouraged them to become more actively involved in their own healthcare issues. Did the ill health program change patient behavior? In these five areas, many of the patients said that they are already engaging in the action respond, uh, recommended. In the patient identification and for prevention area, there were relatively higher percentage of the people who changed their behavior after knowing the ill health tips. In the area of fall prevention, one-fourth of the patient didn't change their behavior. As one of the reasons for that is, patients had already purchased the slippery slippers when they listened to detailed examinations. Also, the tip for fall prevention was not so specific for patients to understand to the appropriate shoes to wear. We had a lot of positive comments on the program from patients and family members, including usefulness of the program, desire for the program continuation. So I shall read one of these. Rather than just being told to do things, I think using the Irohauta to encourage patients to be proactive in taking care of themselves is more effective on an individual level by a female patient in her 80s. In the program evaluation conducted among nurses in the hospital, there are some suggestions to improve the current program, such as a new program for kids, earlier intervention in outpatient settings, and the Iroha Uta footage providing in hospital TV programs. The seventh key is program improvement based on the evaluation or based on the feedback from the people. So now we are providing a specific instructions about shoes in the outpatient setting, showing which shoes are suitable and which are not. Also, we are providing a Irohauta TB program for inpatient. I will show you part of this. Hello everyone, we at Osaka University Hospital are dedicated to building partnerships between patients and healthcare professionals in order to improve patient engagement in healthcare and patient safety. Let's take a look at the seven points of our Iroha Uta program that are key to a safe and worry-free hospital stay. Number four, twice, thrice or more, we simply don't mind, so ask, ask away. We've always got time. 
Doctor, can I ask you something? Yes, certainly. Once I'm discharged, can I start running again straight away? That's a very good question. <laughs> You're important to us. That's why we always practice patient-centered health care. If you have any questions or doubts, please don't hesitate to ask your doctor. Number five. Sometimes it's hard when you're not very well, but you will feel better with a friend to tell. Here, we have a patient who is very anxious. What will happen to me? I'm very worried. Don't keep your worries and insecurities to yourself. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. Talk to someone approachable, such as doctors, nurses, and other healthcare professionals. These are the main points we would like. That's the TV program. I hope you liked it. <laughs> now, I'm going to talk about our implementation experience of the Iro Health program to another hospital, Takayama Red Cross Hospital. So, our hospital is a large size university hospital located in a large city, Osaka, second largest city in Japan. On the other hand, Takayama Red Cross Hospital is a medium sized community based hospital located in the countryside of Gifu Prefecture, which is 300 kilometers from Osaka. So, this was a great opportunity for us to examine whether the Irohauta program is transferable to other institutions. The pre-implementation survey for hospital workers at Takayama Red Cross Hospital revealed that many of the hospital workers didn't know the term or the concept of patient engagement. The program was initiated by the Takayama Hospital Board leadership. In particular, my medical director really liked our program very much and asked us to run the program in his hospital. And then he organized a core team in his hospital and we convened a support team for them. Both teams intensively explored better way of the Iro Hauta program to fit into Takayama culture rather than just importing the tool and the method from Osaka. So the Takayama team visited our hospital to see the actual process of the program. Also, we shared many ideas through face-to-face -face meetings and the closed member blogs. We customized the original program specific to the Takayama hospital. Modification, some illustration is one example. In Takayama Hospital, they don't have wristband for patient identification, so we deleted the wristband from here. And also the illustration of the badge is changed to a symbol of the community guard in Takayama. So through this uh, pre intensive preparation, finally the Irohauta program was implemented in Takayama Red Cross Hospital. And this is another comparison purpose of uh, this figure is not comparison purpose, but so obviously we observed that much higher percentage of the people change their behaviors according to the Irohauta suggestions. So through this experience in two hospitals, we found these are the seven keys to successful implementation of the hospital-wide patient engagement program. Simply said, culture of the people and the culture of the organization and the specific tools and the strategy, and the people, including a core team and key persons and all hospital workers. Also, continuous improvement based on the evaluation. These are very important. Two years ago, in the International Forum on Quality and Safety Amsterdam, we had the opportunity to discuss this with the expert panel chaired by Dr. Rashad Massoud, about the usefulness of our Irohauta program in international communities. Professor Poletti from Italy, she said that she liked the program very much, and then if she runs a similar program, she would like to use an Italian song or something close to her culture. And Dr. Buka from Niger, Africa, he emphasized on the importance of cultural adaptation of the program. 
So he suggested that he could use the program with some modifications in order to educate pregnant women, including illiterate, to make them visit a clinic when need appropriate medical care. So lastly, I would like to thank all of the people who have been engaged in the patient engagement program. That's all my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kazuri. Excellent presentation, I'm sure, and uh, I think uh, quite inspirational, I would say. Any comments, please, Hannah, from Twitter or questions? Any questions, please, before Ms. Kazuri sits down? Yes, please, this lady here. Uh, congratulations. Diana Rodriguez, South America, Peru, Open School. Universidad Peruana Cayetano Heredia. Very, very, very good your presentation. I like a lot, and I think that it could be um, to apply in developing countries like mine. Thank you very much. Um, can I ask again, which country are you from? Peru. Peru, South America. Oh, Peru. Thank you very much. Yeah. And a gentleman over here. Yeah. Uh, and you want to from Jönköping, Sweden. Congratulations on your beautiful work. I was curious um, how this was received by your colleagues, your uh, doctor colleagues, uh, and also by the leadership of the hospital. Uh, was this um, uh, in any way difficult or controversial, uh, or was it something that everybody quickly could uh, embrace? Uh, Johan, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear um, your questions because the echo is kind of... So I was curious about um, the reactions of your colleagues, doctors in the hospital. Oh, I see the yeah. reaction of our hospital and doctors. And yes. the senior management. <laughs> and also of the senior management of, of the hospital. Senior management of people. So officially senior management of people have to say, we love this. <laughs> 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 and then most of the physicians like uh, this program. Now uh, some uh, physicians suggested that we can use this program in this area, uh, especially um, which will be useful for physicians, um, patient observations or uh, consultations or something like that. It's ongoing spreading process, so. I, I, could I say that, that uh, it, it seems to me, in fact, that what uh, Kazuri is talking about here is treating the patient as a partner and actually working with the patient rather than doing things to them. I think you actually get that sort of synergy which produces real quality. Well done. Uh, one more question. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, thank you for that presentation. It was really informative. What I found most interested um, in that you customized it for different areas within the same country, and it, there was cultural sensitivity or cultural changes that were needed in different parts of the country. And in the United States, we're struggling with that. Um, tremendously in terms of cultural competence yeah. to various, whether it be north, south, east, and west. Mm -hmm. And um, that influences and really creates the challenges for us to be able to really do patient engagement in a more constructive manner. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you very much, your useful comment. Thank you, Kazui. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for Kazui Nakajima.